my friend you're wondering how it's possible to post everywhere every single day that's why you're listening to this because I talk about how I do it and how you can do it too so I'm going to show you my daily process so you can see how it's possible I'm going to go through um, the explanation I'm actually going to take action on some of these things to show you exactly how I do it and you're going to be able to do that too and you're going to find out that it's possible it just takes time to get the groove right I mean the first time you do it it'll take you a lot longer and then it it eventually you get in a groove where it takes less time to do like it is for me now so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so when I say posting everywhere obviously I don't I don't mean everywhere because there's definitely places where I'm not posting but I am posting to 20 or so different platforms using automation using using uh, quick sharing methods that kind of stuff using uh what I call or what Mark Lennon calls the octo content model I learned from that I am and improved it and now I'm posting every single day to around 26 platforms or 24 or something like that but let me just show you how that's possible how I'm doing it and how you can do it too and by the way it takes me about an hour to two hours a day to do that so it, it is it, it is a lot of time but at the same time it grows my audience everywhere and it lets me fine-tune my abilities to create content right so we're going to show you the screen I'm going to show you my screen I'm going to actually show you the process I'm going through so if you're listening to the audio of this you want to make sure you go to cis331.jsgagnon.com to go check the video and the blog post because as I said I'm going to share my screen showing you how to go so with that being said let's actually go and start that let's just share my screen so this is my blog and as you can see I'm posting every day February 11th the 10th the 9th of 8th right here the 5th the, the 3rd the 2nd the 1st January then there's like you know more pages more pages of content that I post I guess it's not very quick but that you know I'm posting every single day I post every single day on my blog so that's one place where I'm posting every single day I should have probably loaded up other things like Facebook right and LinkedIn let's load load up LinkedIn LinkedIn and let's load up Instagram and let's load up Twitter right so I mean I'm doing this every day on all these platforms so I go to Facebook um let's let it load up here I'm sure my computer uh isn't liking me loading all this I should have like I said I should have loaded that before I should have thought of that uh, but so if I go to my profile on let's go here my profile okay let's go there and let's go to my profile right here under I just want to show you kind of what I mean by posting everywhere right so if I go here post an activity and then if I go on Twitter onto my profile and on Facebook that's all loading up on Facebook if I go to my own profile page all right so on oh it's not it's still still loading still loading okay uh, is that still loading why did it do that I didn't want to look at my I want to go to my profile there you go okay so yeah let's go to one so under da, 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 media so if I just look at media uh you can see that I'm posting well I guess on Twitter there's lots of automation so you're going to see a lot of stuff here that isn't my daily episodes but I guess we could uh, I don't know if there's a way I don't think there's a way to filter on Twitter right just things that have course income secrets in them for example but anyways if you were to scroll through my there's one here right course income secrets I'm I'm sharing all this on a Twitter every day 
and I'm sharing it on Instagram if I can if this can load up why is it there you go on Instagram I'm I'm posting my episodes on there too along with other things on LinkedIn if I look at the if I look at the um posts you see that I have my it's load up as you see that I have my course in my course income secrets 229 over here I've got oh and then I then it shows me all the shares and groups it's 329 it's too bad that it doesn't have a way to just show posts right but anyways 328 right here so every day I share on LinkedIn so every day I share on Facebook I share on LinkedIn I share on Instagram I share on Twitter I share um most days on TikTok I also do on Snapchat I do and then I share on audio platforms on Apple podcast on SoundCloud on on Spotify on Alexa cloud on uh, no, Alexa skill I mean on uh, a Google uh, podcast on Stitcher so all those different platforms they're all done automatically and then there's other things like um live journal and anyways there's a whole bunch of things so I've done other posts on that but let's just talk about what do I do what do I do what do I do so right now I'm recording the episode that's the first thing I do in the, <laughs> in the morning I actually record an episode I use a tool called OBS so let me just show you right here you can see the so this is the OBS tool basically I have these different uh what they call scenes where I switch between my preview video that you saw earlier and I switch between my desktop and just my webcam right if I just do webcam like this it's just my webcam if I do my desktop it's my webcam and the desktop because I'm sharing the actual um, um the actual uh, product here whoops oh looks what happened there what happened there that's interesting okay anyways so because I was sharing the screen you could see this like multiplication uh, effect right but anyways so um so so I, I record a video so that's the, th the one thing I do so I start by recording a video it's a 30 minute video uh 30 sometimes 25 sometimes up to 45 minutes but I do that video and that's the one that's obviously something that takes a little bit of time but because I use OBS to just record it there's no editing afterwards so that saves me a lot of time there because I don't have to edit the video right after I've up I've recorded the video then what I do is I actually upload it to my uh to I upload it to YouTube so it's just uh, so over here I go in YouTube I say create right and then I just upload video I select the video obviously I'm not going to do that now because I'm recording right now I can't I can't upload the video that I'm recording but I just do that I just upload it to YouTube right so that's and that's why I have these ones that are here that are showing as not yet done because because the right now I'm recording the video for Monday after Valentine's the 15th of February and yesterday I recorded today's video which is this one here uh oh let's reload this page that way you'll see because the, the this is this this has been published right so yesterday I recorded this video number 330 episode 330 which is um for today for today like today as in not not the video you're watching right now but I recorded that video yesterday for today's episode and that's kind of what I do so after and the reason why I do that is because I want to upload the video first as soon as possible because it takes um it takes uh YouTube sometimes a day before they actually um do the automated uh, subtitles and I use those in some of the stuff that I do okay so after I've after I've uploaded the video basically uh during um lunchtime or later on I I'll do the blog post itself for the day before right so right now I'm going to do the blog post for episode number 329 because or not uh, 330 I mean episode 330 which is which is from your perspective is the episode from the previous day but it was recorded the day before so anyways so just don't don't get too confused let's just write that down in here so what do I do is number one I record video for tomorrow right so basically I record the video for the next day so 
if it's Friday I'm recording it for Monday if it's Monday I'm recording it for Tuesday etc so I record the video one day ahead of time because I want uh, to upload it to YouTube and I want YouTube to do its thing with the subtitles and all that stuff and I want to have it ready because for me even even uploading because I'm in the um, I mean I'm not in a big city the uploading uh my internet is not great so it takes like almost an hour sometimes to upload the video so I I couldn't it would just take more that because I can't do anything until the video is uploaded then it has to get the subtitles and all these things so I record it upload it then the next day I use it right so next what I do is I create blog post for today right so that means that whatever video I recorded yesterday is the one I'm going to use today so this is what I'm talking about here so if I go to my YouTube you see right now that today's YouTube which is yesterday's video is this one here <coughs> and let's actually go to uh, my computer here my local computer because that's where I do that here okay so now I have the video that's from yesterday that I'm gonna do the blog post for right so what I do is I create the text and the blog post for it so what I do is I go into my where is it right over here right so I go into my I go into my blog and I go and I create so as you can see 329 is the last post I did so I create a new post in my blog right so that's where I create all the text I need for all my posts everywhere I use the blog post text to start my post right so I'm going to take for example uh let's see now I'm going to take this this post here. I'm going to create a new post and it's called course income it's always called course income secrets right see whoops course income secrets right secrets and uh I try to remember okay number because I usually do uh anyway so 330 and the title is I got the title actually I have it saved in a file so today's was so I have a text file that just has it has it in there I'm just going to do that oh that's yesterday's okay so let's do that again okay so its title is you how to use so click eCourse to do the five day challenges right so that's the name of the topic of the there you go now I take that and I put that in here I also create the topic with the same because that's SEO friendly right uh, heading and then then I just start writing it right so uh you know in this case it's a blog post about how to use clicky course to have extreme success with five-day challenge right so when you are running a challenge you could I could probably just say that and this is part of obviously I'm not going to get um the whole thing done because I'm showing you my process and and it affects my creativity right I got to be kind of focused and and put and put the time in to create the blog post but now I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit so you could just run your challenge your five day challenge whoops challenge in Facebook I've done that I've done that plenty of times at the end at the end you will usually want to offer something to your members to your students students to get even more results right okay so anyways I'm just gonna so that's kind of the beginning of it so then what I do um I will write more of it but I also need to take this text and use it in the SEO thing down here and I need to set the whoops set the post categories course income secrets let's go to face let's just do Facebook is there a challenge I don't have a challenge thing anyway so that's it I got that I do a save draft 
and then that gives me the actual url that I'm going to use right so then what I do is I go and update my domain with that url so that I can so I can uh just send you to cis330.jsgagnon.com right so if I can send you to that link instead of you instead of telling you the whole crazy link right um this doesn't seem to be loading there you go instead of sending you the whole crazy link obviously I can't tell you you know I can't tell you go to jeansergegagnon.com slash course income secrets dash three three dash 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 how dash two dash use dash right I can't tell you to do that in any in any of my posts so I need a short a short um so I go into my domain here and um I do that now there's other th other ways to do this obviously I'm not saying that you have to do this this way because you can use pretty print there's a different plugins in WordPress for example you could use to just send people to uh to that that could make it easier but personally I like doing it this way and that's just a part of my process right so I'm just kind of showing you I got to get this opens in the tab out of there url a redirect and it's cis330 right so that's 330 is the one that I'm doing so I just do that and then I that saves that as the domain now my node my domain now has this new um this this url now cis.330.jsgagnon.com is going to go to that link right okay so that's the next part now after that after I've written up the blog post I take all the text that's in it and I and I use it in my um in my syndication engine so let me see is that the next thing I should show you so okay let's go back to the notes so number two number three is um add short url to my domain right uh number four is um number four is the next thing I do is I yeah because I need okay so uh, yeah so I gotta take text and video url to uh, oh actually actually you know what the next thing is I need to do I need to do my uh, subtitles get subtitles to video to YouTube 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 video well from get subtitles uh wait from from YouTube video and to fix to fix and upload right so I do that basically I do that to fix the subtitles so what I do is I go to the YouTube video over here which is the one we're talking about this one here I just go to edit here and then there's a subtitle tab right here and you know after a day that it's it's always there I mean I, I don't know sometimes maybe it might not always be but I just click on continue right here I take the whole subtitles and I actually use a script but that's something that I'm going to eventually add to the integration tool but for now it's a script I just use so I just paste it in here the whole thing as you can see <coughs> it's just text that's it's plain text and there's lots of things where I talk about six I talk about uh yeah so okay so now uh, then I have a script that fixes lots of stuff in it so let's just run that right now uh doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, and it's called fix it's just called fix fix subs so what that does is it just it just goes and you know uh, makes um capitalization of certain words because YouTube doesn't capitalize anything also fixes uh like LinkedIn and YouTube it fixes the word the, those to you know to look like the the proper case and stuff and also fixes my name because YouTube never gets my name right <laughs> obviously and then also yeah it does a couple other things fixes TikTok, mini chat those kinds of things right as you can see right there so after that's done I just uh, get the new version and I just cut and paste it back into the YouTube all I do is this I just go like this and then I just copy the whole thing and I paste it in my YouTube video I don't need to do copy okay over here I just go here and I copy it right as you can see now my name is there and I got the clicky course and all these things they're fixed so I just published that so now that adds the subtitles to my YouTube video all right so now 
uh, I can just leave here and I can go into click eCourse syndication let's just go to the syndication and click eCourse and what I do there is I extract a video thumbnail and things like that from the video so I just create a new syndication here it's going to be called 330 the title is what we have whoops where is it okay, this is the title here and normally I finish the whole blog post before I get there but let's just do that like this for now so there I put the title then I also put the url because this the url that's there is the link I want to show in all my social sharing image uh, video uh, text and everything so I just take this same link here and I paste that in here and I click on next and then I select the video so the video is right here it's actually which one is it the 330 so it's this one here I just get the shareable link right there go back in here paste it in there so now what that'll do is the video will get downloaded by the clicky course syndication engine and then I'll be able to specify where I want the thumbnails in the video so so that'll extract the thumbnails out of the video it'll also give me a five minute version of the video a two minute version of the video it'll give me audio files for um for you know uh, soundcloud or for itunes it'll give me a, a gif a gif to add to my email list or to add as a thumbnail to, to linkedin uh, posts it'll give me the five minute subtitles from the full subtitles and it'll give me a video for Instagram a vertical video for Instagram with the subtitles burnt in at the bottom that I use in Instagram right so now I can I could go like this to go find the 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 where I want the screenshot to be right but I already know because I've done it in, from here so whoops over here so if I do this I know that the the thumbnail is 2131 okay so 21 I just put that in here 2131 and I click on next right here now normally I have to paste the full text here it's not ready because I didn't do my my blog post yet but I can just go straight to generate asset here and click on generate assets now now it's basically from the downloaded video from the video on YouTube it gives it's it's going to give me all these different uh, pieces of content that I can use to share on other platforms if I click on refresh here it shows me that these are waiting so these are this will say waiting because it's the full text is not get entered right and uh what else like this one here is waiting because the gif thumbnail is not there yet or this one will say uh waiting YouTube is well again the full text not entered right so now I can take something like for example this uh, this one here I just click on download and I can save this right into my uh folder for it so 330 I gotta go to 330 right here I'm gonna post it in here I'm gonna save that here and the gift play should be ready as well no it's not it's not ready yet maybe it is gift play so this one says waiting because the thumb 600 wasn't done but now it's done so I can actually say regenerate it'll do it for me right away I could have waited it would have done it in a few seconds but let's just get it here so then I get this one it's still processing so oh, there you go it's done so I click on download and I can just save image as so now I have the gift thumbnail and the the uh regular thumbnail so I have them saved locally right um and the other thing I want is subtitles subtitles are here subtitles five minutes are here so I want the subtitles so I just say save as right here um and then I just say uh, any file and I get the text out of there because it's got to be an srt file all right so now I have my three pieces of, of uh, that I that I use the rest I use for other other things but for now I'm not, I'm going to go back to my blog post and like I normally put the link to the to the video here so let's go get the video link again uh, this one here there you go and I put that here right now the other thing I do too is I obviously I have more text here down the bottom but then at the bottom I end up adding an image 
I add the thumbnail of the video where's the image right here now I upload that from my the files I just got right now right I got this is this 330 no that's not the right one 330 and I get the whoops over here I get the thumb play this one here so that's the image that has the thumbnail but it also has the little play icon on it so it kind of looks like oh I gotta click on here to get a play and in here I also uh, put the link for YouTube and I just make it open a new tab okay so now if they click on that image it'll it'll play the video and the other thing I do is inside here I set the feature to on and that's just on my blog right on my blog because of the theme I have I use a gif as the as this as a featured image so that's why when you look on my blog uh, it'll be this one gif 600 play so when you look on my blog you see all these images moving right so I'll show you what I mean after this is just a set featured image I'm just going to save draft here okay so when I go to my blog you see all these images they're all moving right they're all moving because the um because the featured image is a, a, a gif a gif right that moves so that's why it's, you see that on here it's kind of kind of like ADHD kind of looking website or something right but that's I don't know that's I like that I don't know and obviously not everybody likes it but that's the whole thing right when you're building your audience online you you, you want to attract people who like whatever you like because otherwise it'll be hard for you to help them if they're not they don't like the stuff you like they you won't be able to help them do things because you haven't done them right so it's better if you attract people who like what you do so that way you can attract them and uh, get them to you know uh, help them with the stuff you already know how to do right okay so that's an example of the blog post okay so 26 so after I've done my blog post and I've done my syndication assets then what I do is actually share I well I publish the video I publish I publish the YouTube video I publish my blog post and then I share these uh, these things on all the different platforms like for example uh, I can't show you let's go actually let's show you the previous one if I go back to the yesterday's uh, just so you see what it looks like so once I have everything done I'm going to have things like this I'm going to have like I'm going to have like this for example for Facebook I can take the title here right and I can paste that in the Facebook live and then I take I take this text here and I paste that in the Facebook post and then I post it right I post it with the video that's this five minute this five minute doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it the five minute video right <coughs> so let's just turn this in so I post this five minute video in my YouTube it automatically adds for me this this end to it right it does a it does a fade here let's just kind of show you so it does a fade at the end four or five minutes even though my video is 30 minutes I can't well I could post the whole thing on Facebook but even on I can't do that on, on LinkedIn or on Pinterest other platforms so I actually have this at the end of it that I'm actually talking if you haven't heard already these videos at the end I say this I say exactly what you're reading right there right this <laughs> was part of an episode from course and cup secrets watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the link in the description or comments and then I say more at with my blog website right and that finishes the video like that so if somebody wants to read if they're interested in the actual topic I want them to go to my blog because on my blog they'll 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 have the opportunity to join my list and they'll see all the other posts I have and everything else right it's like my hub uh so I do that with uh, uh so then yeah so then I share it to LinkedIn on LinkedIn I have a similar thing I have um, this one here so the LinkedIn text is exactly similar right there's this whole uh, you can't see the the special characters because it's uh let me just see if I do the html one LinkedIn so this one is going to show the oh I guess I can't uh it's not doing the right thing on here but so I that I guess there's a bug right there but most times it works fine and so I I take that text for LinkedIn I take the text for Twitter I take so on Twitter I take the two minute video because two minutes uh, is the max on Twitter on LinkedIn I take the five minute video and then I have a thumbnail for um 
the thumbnail for da, 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 where's the where's the gif the, the gif this one here so I have the 60 the 600 pixel thumbnail for for LinkedIn which doesn't have the little play thing because LinkedIn puts it on top of it for me I don't want to put it and then you know have a double one um it's not the same as the one I use here for my blog because I put this thing on on it for my blog and then there's um what else on thumb on um SoundCloud I put this as my thumbnail <coughs> on the so anyways all these things they're all and the, this is the sequence I actually have a blog post if you just search for for it let's see what uh what's it uh if I just search for uh syndication syndication if I just search for syndication on my blog you're going to find uh, the post about how I do it right what's content syndication what is better than Gary V syndication syndication is simple the other thing you can actually do is you can actually go through my uh categories right here and you can choose syndication which um uh, syndication which um might not th this is a search for text that had syndication in it right it doesn't mean doesn't necessarily show all the syndication blog posts but um and one of the ones I did is watch me share native assets to 24 platforms I actually have one that I show you going through that doing all the shares so I can't do it all in this in this episode in this video showing you the whole thing but there's lots of other posts that you can go find that have to do with what syndication uh what how, how I do syndication and how you can do it too using click eCourse using other things and uh yeah so that's it hopefully uh look at that interesting hopefully that uh, I answered lots of your questions and if you have any more just go ahead and comment and <laughs> let me know um you know if there's anything I'd help with all right so have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean Sand until next time.